Well, I want to get into number four here, and we're going to go with Stanislaw Zabisco. That's right. Five foot eight, 230 pounds, and he held from, he was billed from Vienna, Austria. Yep. So the last name Zabisco was not his actual last name. Zabisco was the name of a Polish knight that his friends called him after because he was a brave little son of a bitch when he was growing up. <laughs> and um, so that was his name, Zabisco. I cannot pronounce his actual name, so I am not going to try to because I do not want to butcher a Polish name just because I've never learned how to properly read it. Right, right. That's okay because I, I was going to have a hard time staying Stanza's Law. And you smart me up how to say that pretty pretty correctly for a hillbilly there. Yeah. But uh, he was also the world's oldest uh, champion at 46 years old. I thought that's pretty impressive. Yeah. But you, um, he was uh, as you written down there, he was recruited by the Gold Dust Trio too. Uh, you know, to put him, they what do they do there? They they put him on the. Uh, how do they do that? Well, they, they he beat he beat Ed Lewis for the title. Okay, okay. But there was a double cross somewhere. With, well, that's uh, that's coming okay. up here. We'll, we'll get okay, into that in just a minute here, yeah. That's why I'm asking you, Professor. That's yeah. why you're Professor. I want to get ahead of myself. No, no, no. That's, I, just, so, I, knew, I knew your notes, sir. I'm just trying to read yeah. over them. So they um, they put the title on Zabisco, but he kind of Kevin Nash the title, um, <laughs> as in didn't draw any money. Um, <laughs> oh, ba-boom. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> um, so a little thing happened. This fellow named Wayne Munn, and we're going to get to how he won the title here shortly. This fellow named Wayne Munn ended up with the world championship, and uh, the Gold Dust Trio went to Zabisco, one of their other hand-picked guys, and said, hey, we need you to lose. And Zabisco apparently said, oh, yeah, 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 no problem. And then Bobby... <laughs> Double crossed him. Yep. <laughs> and, and he knew. And that's the thing. Some of them old time wrestlers, they didn't like, quote, showmen or muscle men uh, or people that couldn't couldn't legitimately wrestle. They didn't really have a lot of respect for that. They knew that he had been picked based on his look. Uh, Mr. Munn had, yep. even though, you know, he, he, he beat Ed Strangler Lewis as we'll find out and stuff. But, um, yeah, so he went to the ring. He basically, you know, gave him the handshake of, yeah, a gentleman's agreement, if you will, I'm going to do the job cause I'm not drawing or whatever. And he was like, but that didn't happen. He just double crossed him and he knew he could out uh, wrestle, uh, Wayne Munn. And he did beat him, and that was that. So it was a, it was a fucking double cross. There you yeah. go. <laughs> the first screw job in pro wrestling. This was it. It was a Bisco yeah. versus Mudd. business for himself. <laughs> yeah. L- like, legitimately. Refusing to lose to a non-wrestler, he agreed to take the loss and then went in and put the boots to him. So Zabisco, because of this, was world champion twice. I don't know. I have to assume his first win was worked, but we don't know for sure. Also, when Gotch got over on him. Frank Frank Gotch is dirtier than I realized, man. So Frank Gotch <laughs> jumped him during the handshake and got a pin in like 6.4 seconds. Yeah, well, he probably knew. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do my own business today yeah. if you're going to do yours. So, so anyhow, um, Zabisco, like you said, he was the oldest world champion, um, and he was cited by Ed Lewis as one of the best legitimate wrestlers of all time. And, of course, the living legend Larry Zabisco would go on to take uh, Stanislaw Zabisco's last name for his own. Yep, and we're going to have Zabisco on some future episodes, we hope. Uh, we we got you know some other seasons planned out, and uh, uh, Larry Zabisco's name came up on that. So we'll yep. see. So stay tuned to this podcast, man. It's, 